Well, my name's Phil Sofer. I work in the technical services department at the VA and uh, on the McQueen show I'm working on uh, making the object mounts for all the objects that are going into the cabinet of curiosities. Um, I've, I've chosen these um, porcupine earrings to, to talk about because they, they were one of my favourite objects in, in the cabinet. Um, there's a, there's like a, a, a range of accessories and, and jewellery that we're mounting on, um, on uh, these heads that are a slightly unusual shape. Um, and they don't have discernible features, so they, they, don't, they don't have like ears and, and, and nose and features on the head. Um, so the challenge with these objects is uh, to make sure that they're mounted um, in, in the correct position on, on this head, as if, as if there was an ear there. And um, uh, these are designed by Sean Lean, um, who, who worked a lot uh, with Alexander McQueen. Uh, creating lots of jewellery and, and, and amazing pieces and I was really fortunate to be able to get him to come and meet with us and talk about objects that he's lending to the exhibition. So um, I really wanted to talk to him about this piece because I've seen photos from the when these have been worn on the catwalk and there's like a, a hooped section of the ear with a, like the, the fan of the, the silver um, coming out from behind the ear. So I wanted to find out from him, you know, which part of the object would normally be hidden by the ear and so therefore is intended not to be seen. So we can try and create a mount that is going to hide that, that part and create the same sort of effect as, as if a model, model was wearing it. And um, they're, they're just like amazing pieces you've got the contrast between the the silver and then the dark porcupine quills so they're they're kind of you know they they're, they're kind of fragile but they look they look like they're they're really solid and quite dangerous but uh yeah they're, they're just quite an impressive thing when you actually put it um on on the head in the in the context that they would be worn so.